everyone welcome back to the channel this is the stitching colorist with Shelley Lewis so I hope you're all keeping well and I hope you've all had a good weekend wherever you are uh, our weekend was really really good um, it was my son's uh, 10th birthday on Friday <laughs> I nearly forgot then um, we had a little get together on the weekend um, I'll let you know how that goes well how it went when I do a colouring chat. So, uh, tonight's video, I thought, because I did a recent video on Satchin Satch Divas Sir Mystery Circles collection, and I had quite a good response on that video. So, I just want to say thank you to everybody that did watch that video and all your lovely comments and your likes. It was very much appreciated. And um, one of the questions I got asked was, do I, it'd be a hard question, but do I prefer the Star Mosaic series from the Belber family or the Mystery Circles uh, series? And I said it was a hard question. I said I both absolutely loved them, which I didn't just say that just so I didn't like favour one over the other. But honestly, I do love them both the same um, for their own separate reasons. So for today's video, I thought I would do my Star Mosaic collection by the Belber family. Now, a while ago, I did check through these books, the Star Mosaics, to see, to make sure that I had all of them. I know I've completed um, the first book, so I haven't got that in here. And also the Christmas, the most recent Christmas Advent calendar, I completed that one. And I also completed a smaller Christmas style mosaic. So there is three there that had gone. Now, the rest, a while ago, I did check that I had them all and I did. I ticked them off. But when I'm looking through here, there's certain numbers I was a bit unsure about. And I don't know whether those are the ones that I've completed. So they're in no particular order, so I do apologise about that. I will leave a link, because there's a few books here, I'm not going to leave a link to all of them because I'll be here forever uh, trying to get the links from Amazon. So what I'll do is I'll see if I can leave a link to the actual main bit on Amazon where the list is for the Star Mosaics. But if I can't, I'll leave a link to the first book. There are very, very easy to find on Amazon. So in no particular order, we'll make a start. So the first one I've got is uh, Star Mosaics. And this is Star Mandala's Black Edition. Now, this is the first one, I think. And we'll have a look at what I've completed in here. I won't be doing a flip through for all of the books because, again, it'll take me forever. And obviously, I've tagged this one and I haven't even showed it in the finished page. So you get to see a finished page. And this apparently was from May in 22 that I mustn't have shown in my um, finished pages. And yes, did I only do that one picture in here? Oh, my love, I've only done one picture in there and I didn't even show that one. So that is the Star Mandala's book one. So we've got Star, Mon uh, Star, Mosaic, Star Mandala's book two. And I'm not sure if I've even done a picture in here because, yes, I have. I have because my husband calls it OCD where... When I'm colouring a book, I have to start from the beginning going through. But in my last few pictures in my other books, um, I've been just picking here and there. So, <laughs> yeah. So, apparently I did one in here. And I might... No, no. I've done more than one. I did this one in here. And that one. Apparently, I've done more in the second book than I did in the first. Go figure. <laughs> so, I did these mostly with alcohol markers. And, yeah, that is all that I've done in that one. So, now we have Stone Mosaic. And this is book 15 
30 pictures to colour and this is Summer Gardens. So it's based on Gardens, book 15. And I did that one out of here. And that one. And that one. And then, and then. <laughs> you seen dude, where's my car? So apparently I've just done about four in that one. So yeah, absolutely lovely. Now these stomas, I, I just love them. So we've got book two. I did say that I'd completed book one. So you won't see in um, this collection. Because when I've finished a book, I have a tendency to... I don't keep them because I've just got nowhere to put them. I struggle to put the books that I am working on. So... To put the books that I've completed, I just don't have the room. So, yeah, I, you're going to shout at me now. But books that I've completed, I'll throw away. I'm sorry. I just like the old process of completing a book, but I just don't have anywhere to actually put it once it's completed. If I had somewhere to put them when them completed, then I'd most likely keep them. But, yeah. So I've completed a few in here. I did that one in the year 22, the dragonfly. Now there is two pictures in here that I've completed this month. So I'll show you those, but you'll probably see them again at the end of the month's colouring pages. Because I just love them. My idea is I want to get one or, well, at least a couple of these books uh, finished for the year 24. There is a video that I think a few of them have done on now with 10 books to finish, which I don't know who first instigated it, but I know that Kate's Colouring Haven has done it, so I'm considering doing it myself, but I need to have a look through 10 books that I've got that need completing. I know that this one will probably be one of them. Well, in fact, it won't probably be one of them. It will be one of them. Because I have done a few pictures in here. Got this one here. So, yeah, I just love these books. They're really, really quick to do. And I really do... I do thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy working in them. This one you may have seen on my TikTok. <laughs> Got the bird. Nice bird there. Actually, I've done more in here than I thought I had. Got the froggy. Cute froggy. My uh, old next door neighbour, when I lived at my parents' house, Dot, uh, Dorothy, she used to love frogs. It's one thing that I used to remember about her, is she used to love frogs. And those are a couple that I completed this month, which you'll probably see in my end of the month finished pages. So, yeah, that is book two. So I'm going to put that to the side because that's in my pile list. So we've got Star Mosaics book three. And I may have done one in here because I'm... Oh, oh, I didn't do one. How? I did not do one in book three. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I thought I did at least one out of all of them, but apparently book three I've not even done one in. So we have book four. Four. I'm just lean the camera back a bit. We've got book four. Now, it's, have I done one in here? <laughs> no, the first page is not coloured. I thought I did one in here as well. Oh, hang on. I have. <laughs> I knew I'd done one in here. I knew I'd done one. So you've got that one of the car with the cottage and it's from 21 in the year 21. So I have done a picture in there. I can say I did one. So that was book four. So we've got book five, 
which is Star Mosaics Book 5, and this is the Christmas edition. Now, with this one, obviously Christmas pictures, you've got more pages in here because you've got the pictures on the white background, but then you've got the pictures on the black background as well. So... I do like them on the white background, but I prefer them more on the black background. I just think that the pictures really do pop on the black background. So with this book, I'm not sure. If, apparently, I did that one in pencils. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do, when I do the pictures out of here, whether I'm going to do the white and black background both at the same time and do the pictures twice. Or if I'm going to just colour the white background first and I'll then go back through and do the black background. Or if I'm going to do vice versa. What do you think, guys? If you've got this book, what do you prefer to do? How do you prefer to colour the pictures? Or do you just randomly go through the book and pick the pictures out? So, yeah, not sure with that one. No, book six, I wasn't... I was a bit unsure about book six, you know. I can't remember what book six was. Uh, so we're going to go with this one. <laughs> so this is Star Mosaics and this is Black Edition. 50 Best Pictures. So this is a book with their uh, best pictures in on black backgrounds. And I'm not sure if this is the sixth one or whether it's just a standard one-off. So we've got that one I did of the turtle. That is cute. I like that. So we've got one of the... Oh, this is nice. I like this one. It's nice to go back and have a look at the previous pages that I've coloured throughout these books. When you've actually done them. But yeah, as my husband has just stated, when I've actually done them. I like that one as well. That's nice and vibrant. The sunflowers. And apparently I've done more out of here as well. We've got that one of the car. These books, uh, I love using my oh hoo hoo uh, double tip markers. I like using I like using any old car markers really. I've got for Christmas. I recently had an Amazon voucher off my mother in law because we have Amazon vouchers every year. Um, so with the Amazon voucher, I picked the 120 set of Shuttle Art, the thick barrel dual tip markers, and I've only used them a couple of times. So I'm going to be using them more often in my books. I do have the Shuttle Art dual tip, the thin barrel, um, and I really like them, but uh, my black has run out now, so yeah. So we've got Star Mosaics Book 7 and this is Halloween themed. So we'll take a look in here and I've done a couple of pictures out of here. There is a couple of pictures that are, that was that was supposed to be more orange I think than pink. I don't know why I coloured it pink. But yeah, I have used normal felt tip pens in these sometimes but I do much prefer the alcohol markers. So, my theme this year to colour as well is I'm going to colour Halloween pictures throughout the year and not just Halloween. I feel like just September and October to colour Halloween pictures, it isn't enough. <laughs> and my books don't get finished. My Halloween books don't get finished. So I thought this year I'm going to get some of the Halloween and Christmas theme books that I've got my older ones done. So I can make room for new ones. Well, you yeah, my husband just said that. Hashtag Halloween throughout the year. That'd be good. Ha yeah, it'd be Halloween oh, 2024. <laughs> Halloween all year 2024. So I am actually doing a year long colour along at the minute, which is lines, dots, spirals 2024 where I want to get quite a few of those pictures done. So, yeah, that Halloween one would have been a great hashtag, though, to do, wouldn't it? 
We're already in January, January, so I'm not January. sure. I'm not sure if I want to do another all year cover along because I want to basically focus on the one that I'm doing now. But we could, we could try. We've got Fred Krueger here. I like that one. <laughs> Fred Krueger. No classic horror film, and do you know that film still gives me the wiggins. The first one does, and maybe the second one, but the rest. I like the first, second, and third, but after that, yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Now we've done that one, so we've done quite a few in here. So this might be another book that I might get out for next month. And then try and get this book completed because, as you can see, I've done quite a lot in this one. <laughs> I have. I suppose you have to have to balance the book. I've done quite a lot in this one. Oh, we've got that one. Yeah, my husband just said I need to balance out with the uh, lack that I've done in the other books. I've got that one. I did quite a few for Halloween, I think. Because it was about September time that my colouring bug came back. Because, yeah, my colouring bug went with a bang. It did a while ago and I just was not. Every time I'd seem to get a colouring bug out, I couldn't stick to it. But um, now I, I'm colouring like there's no tomorrow. So I'm not sure which is book eight. I haven't got, I can't remember that one. So book nine, book ten. So, yeah, we're going to go to book 11. So, we've got Star Mosaic's black and white background and book 11. And it's got plus bonus several pictures on both backgrounds. Oh, cool. So, we've got that. And I did this one in here. At the boot. Oh, this one's nice. I like this one. We've got the unicorn. How cute. And apparently I started a picture in there and I did not finish it. So that is very rare in these books. <laughs> it's very rare. Unless I start doing a picture on the night time and it's way past bedtime. And then I need to go to bed and then I'm like, yeah, I need to put that book away. So we've got Stone Mosaics Animals Book 12. And we'll see if I did anything out of this one. Yeah, I did. I did this zebra. Cute. I like it. And that's all that I did in that one. So we have book 13, which is Cute Houses. And I know I've done one in here, or at least two. So I did that one. That would be nice. These books, though, I kind of want to colour them in, in order. And, like, go through book one, two, three, four, four, and get them all done like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, because it would be nice to actually colour in all of them. Yeah. My husband was just saying, I shouldn't give myself a dictatorship. I should do what I feel. That's my problem throughout the past, that has... When I've actually done that, I've not stuck to it. However, I've actually stuck to um, my rotation. I've done really well with that. So the last one on this pile that I've got is Star Mosaic's Incredible Sea World. And this is book 14. So, And the font on here looks smaller. And it's also got it in the different language as well, which I think is nice for them including that. So I did this seahorse in here. That's cute. And some fishes. Some fishes. I did a starfish. And obviously I've got crumbs of some sort on it. I probably Knowing me, I'll probably eat in a cake while I... Either a cake or a biscuit while I was colouring it and decided to add a bit of extra to the page. <laughs> I'm like that. So we've got some more fishes here. And is that all that I did in there? Yeah, so that's all I did. 
So guys, that is my Star Mosaic colouring book collection by the Belber family. Now, when I, as I said, when I checked through these books, when I was sorting my books out, I was ticking them off and I did have all of them. So, yeah, not sh too sure about the other ones, whether the, the actual, the, well, that's book 11. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'll have to have a look. I'll have to have a look. I know I've got the majority of them anyway. So, yeah, I absolutely love these books. Now, I do love uh, Belba Family's, all of their books, I do. Um, but for some reason, I just love these in particular, the Star Mosaics, because they're really easy to do. I enjoy them so, so much. And I do get a lot of fun out of them. And they're just really easy and enjoyable to work on. Especially when you want something quick to do. You can usually knock them out pretty quick as well. Yeah, my husband was just saying I can usually knock them out pretty quick as well, which is true. I can usually get them quite do uh, quickly done, but it's nice, it's enjoyable. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it for here for now. Um, if you do have any comments, please feel free to leave it in the comments section below. Uh, any questions or answers or whatever then just pop it in the comments below so i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up um i would really appreciate that if you're not already subscribed to the channel then why not <laughs> i hope you consider subscribing to the channel it really does mean a lot to me and i just want to say thank you to all my subscribers or anyone that does come in to watch the videos. I love seeing all your comments and your likes. It really, really does mean a lot uh, for the channel. I've been doing this channel since about 2017, 18. Yeah, not so sure. About 17 or 18. So I've been doing it quite a while now. <laughs> and I've not give up <laughs> yet. No, I enjoy it. I really, really do enjoy it. And I love the stitching side of it. I've been stitching since I was about 22 years old and I'm now 40. But the colouring side of it, colouring has been in my blood since I was a little child. I've been colouring since I was my daughter's age and she's eight now. Probably col I've been colouring even younger than that. I just remember sitting next to my mum at the house and sitting together and having a good colour in some pictures and then my dad talking on to his friend on the phone and I I was always colouring <laughs> I'd always got a colouring book um so yeah it's just something that means a lot to me it's been there since I was young really really young so I'm 40 now so I've been colouring about 34 years <laughs> about 34 years so yeah I absolutely love it and it take longer to wrap up a video than time for Jake. <laughs> yeah. All I can say is uh it drives my husband nuts. <laughs> no. Anyway, I'm going to get in the going now because I need to wrap up the video. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching and I'll see you all again soon. So goodbye for now guys. Bye.